Good morning, my name is Jackie, you're watching Super Enthused, and we are on another leg of our European adventure and doing another first. I'm at Thorpe Park for the first time. We got here last night after hours when the park was closed and stayed in their really cool on-site hotel called the Shark Hotel. It's shark themed and it's made out of shipping containers. It was actually really, really cool. So I'll show you guys what that's like and kind of walk you around the room just a little bit. So now that we're all checked out of the room and settled in, it's right before 10 a.m. The park opens at 10. We've got our Shark Hotel wristbands and we're ready to use our Fast Pass for the first hour of the day. We're just gonna relax, have a nice time, and experience this really cool and unique park. Here's a little fun fact for you, a little bit of Florida and the UK. This ride here, Storm Surge, used to be in Cypress Gardens, where Legoland currently stands. And then there's like a, a car here that I don't know the significance of, but maybe someone else does. So you're in a raft and you go up this thing and then there's like a, I guess a water slide. So you do get a little wet and it's a little chilly for my taste right now, so. No storm surge right now. Maybe if it was warmer, don't want to get wet. Of course. Of course, of course, Sam is having us start with Walking Dead. First ride of the day, Walking Dead roller coaster. Terrifying, perfect. First thing in the morning. Let's do this. It's only a five minute wait. Literally no one has come here first. This is really scary theming to start with. Okay, no cameras on any of these rides, so we'll tell you about our thoughts after. Well, uh, that was terrifying. The roller coaster itself was not terrifying. It's an indoor coaster, kind of like a Space Mountain type of thing. But there's a very long, scary walkway with all sorts of sounds and flashing lights. It's really dark. I think I almost tripped once or twice um, on the way into the ride. And then on the way out, an even scarier thing to walk through. I did not like it. I mean, I guess it was fun, but no thank you. We got here really early on a weekday, and one benefit of that, we got this place practically to ourselves. Ugh, why? This is what Sam's making us ride next. I didn't know this park was gonna be scary like this. This was gonna be a cheerful roller coaster park. This is horrid. Five minutes, yeah, of course, nobody wants to ride this. So cheerful. It's just such a cheerful, fun roller coaster park. That's all. Not terrifying at all. Yeah, that's that's a normal way you want to start your day. <laughs> Thorpe Park, everybody. And now we're gonna ride the super non-terrifying swarm. It's just a ride about the apocalypse. Everything's burnt and destroyed. There's aliens and societies and chaos. No big deal. Wonderful, more terrifying, apocalyptic, lovely fun. The world is burning, fun for the whole family. Oh look, emergency supplies. Great, wonderful. That's, that's gonna be me in a minute. I can already hear them screaming. Oh boy. Why did I agree? Wait, what happens there? Oh no. I don't like this. Oh my gosh. We don't even need to use our fast pass.
survived this storm. Let's get out of here. Actually, that was really quite pleasant. That was the nicest ride of the day so far. It's very short. It's very, very fun. It actually feels really good when you're on it. But the um, the restraint is very, very tight. So if you're like me and you don't like kind of feeling restricted, at the end, it felt good while I was on it because I was like, okay, I feel secure. But at the end when I was waiting to get off, I was like, oh, can't breathe, can't breathe. So it was a little like moment of panic, but they got it off quick. The ride operators were great and thumbs up. First more. All right, stealth. We're gonna do this. This giant roller coaster with this very unique curve thing. What's it called? Top hat. Top hat. I knew that. So this is half the size of the ones in America. Oh really? Yeah. What's like a big tall one in America? In the car and top car. That's what I'm gonna do right now. Oh my goodness. I hear them screaming. I hear them screaming. Here I go. relaxing ride on Nemesis Inferno. Just having like a very chill, relaxed day today. That's all. Got one minute left to use this. Oh my goodness. Fast pass. really really liked it it's funny because it's kind of a chilly day and there's a part where there's a giant mister and it looks really cool but it's like cold so I was like like trying to stay warm from the cold cold mist blasting all over me and I was chatting with some people in line who were talking about nemesis at Alton Towers and I was telling them how I definitely am going to visit Alton Towers next UK trip it just didn't fit into the plans this time but Next time, Alton Towers. Had to pay a stop in to Thorpe Park's resident cigar store, Indian. Does anyone know if he has a name? Let me know in the comments if he does and if you know. the major coasters here at Thorpe Park in the morning in the first like two hours of the morning I'm um, just gonna settle down we're gonna have a little beer I'm gonna lay down for a little bit and just kind of relax here and recover a bit and then we'll keep going it's 
been a, it's been a really fun morning. I've, I've enjoyed everything except Walking Dead. <laughs> because it was bad? Because it was scary. It wasn't bad. The coaster, the Walking Dead coaster is fun and cute. It's not bad at all, but the, hall, the queue is really scary. The queue in and the queue out is even scarier. So just be prepared. It's 12 p.m. noon and that means that Darren Brown's ghost train is now open. This is a scary VR ride. I've obviously never ridden it because I've never been to this park. I don't really know what to expect and I'm a little nervous. Should I be scared? Just rode Darren Brown's ghost train. Um, not what I expected. Even though I've seen videos on it, I still, it, it's very different actually doing it. Did you like it? I actually did like it. I did. That was my first VR ride. I didn't know how I would react to having like a whole VR headset on. It has like sensory um, headphones that pump in the sound of what you're seeing and like giant eye masks that you have to adjust to get everything in focus. Um, it was a little uncomfortable on my face to make it like in focus, but I don't know. Actually, did you like it, Sam? No. Just trying to be cool. He liked it. They tell you you can close your eyes if it gets too scary, and there were one or two parts where I may have closed my eyes just a little. But I had a lot of fun. It was it was fun. It was fun because the group of people in front of us were screaming their heads off, so it made me feel more brave. <laughs> but yeah, definitely. If you're here, do it. Like, just do it. It's fun. I think that I'm gonna go on the wildest thrill ride in this entire park now. What do you think, Sam? I think you should do it. I'm a little scared. I don't know if you can handle it, if I can handle it after all those coasters. I feel like you need a nice relaxing one. The day of thrill ride. <laughs> Thrills and chills. inside the boat at all times. Enjoy your ride. In this little corner of the park there's a plaque that says Diana Princess of Wales dedicated in fond memory by the Thorpe Park team September 1997 and there's a ride vehicle from the log flume that she rode the ride was called loggers leap and it's very cool that they have the ride vehicle here filled with flowers to commemorate her. The whole shark thing is kind of carried through and then, then there's Angry Birds Land. Angry Birds Land. It's kind of like a fair, just themed around uh, Angry Birds stuff. There are a few attractions in here as well, like the Angry Birds 4D experience, but we're mostly sticking to coasters today. Looks like they're setting up for Fright Nights and some of the props and decor are already out. It looks like it's going to be mighty scary. Judging from the signage and uh, these gross blood plants. Cool theming cool that we get a little bit of a look at this. Okay, one more ride before we go. 
Flying fish, Sam says this is a classic and I have to do it. Right? Right. Okay. You've already been on that. We did it, Sam. We conquered Thorpe Park. Bam! It has been a wonderful day at Thorpe Park. I've had an awesome time making use of the fast passes and staying in the Shark Hotel. We were able to do pretty much every major ride here before 1 p.m., including that weird baby ride that I rode by myself. One thing I did not expect was how scary everything is here. And I'm not talking about scary as in like a scary roller coaster. I'm talking about like the scary themes like Walking Dead and Saw and Darren Brown's Ghost Train. Yes, you would expect those to be scary, but it's different when you're here. I actually really liked Darren Brown's Ghost Train. I think it might have been because it was my first virtual reality ride and it was so different from what I expected. And I didn't get a headache wearing the glasses, which was Awesome! Did not like Walking Dead. Too scary. The actual ride itself isn't scary, but the queue is really scary. And I think also because it was just us. It was just me and Sam. It, it was, was just us. It wasn't scary. Like just us in the queue. It wasn't scary. He was scared. It wasn't. He was scared. So yeah, I definitely look forward to doing this again and doing more UK theme parks. Next time, Alton Towers. I'm looking at you. Oh, and my favorite ride of the day was Nemesis Inferno. I loved the theming. I loved the like steam coming up, the music, the jungle theme. I loved all of that. It was really, really fun. And I really liked um, Swarm too. That was really fun. Coaster Professional, here it comes again. Sam, what was your favorite thing we did today? I actually really loved Walking Dead the ride. My least favorite thing. It was a lot better than I thought it was gonna be. So you can probably look forward to an upcoming episode about that. We'll see. Expedition, terrible ride. Expedition. Not that bad of a ride. I thought it was better than what used to be there, so that's why I liked it. Okay, fair. But it wasn't good. <laughs> but it was fun. <laughs> so we are gonna head out of here. It's time to head back to Florida. Spooky September, October Halloween fun. Thank you guys as always so much for joining me for your lovely comments, thumbs up, suggestions, and feedback. I truly appreciate it. So I will see you guys next time. And until then, stay brave and stay enthusiastic.